Well, being a Windows user, you go from good to bad to good to bad to good to bad. Well, now, with Windows 10, they promise it to be good. So far, I've seen good things, and hopefully now, I can experience good things. <laughs> So you guys want to be one of the first people to try Windows 10 technical preview. Well, here's the best way to do it. You're going to go to Google, search Windows 10, you're going to find the one that says Windows technical preview, I know it sounds so obvious, all you're going to do, sign in. After you've signed in, it's probably going to take you to this page right here that's on the screen. Join us as we build Windows 10. And then you're going to go to over here to set up PC. You're going to click install technical preview. And then you're going to come to download Windows technical preview. And then just follow these instructions, sign up for the did that. Oh, and it says in gray right here. Big importantness. Trying out an early build like this can be risky. Risky. So, disclaimer here guys, if you go and install this and your computer screws up because of it, not my fault. I, I'm fair warning you right now. You're doing this all at your own risk. Which is why when they, Microsoft even recommends that you do not, I repeat, do not install this on your primary home or business PC because unexpected crashes could damage or even delete your files so don't do it unless you really really want to do this now I've got two hard drives in my laptop so I can get away with this kudos for me more than likely if you're gonna do this you've already read the system requirements meaning your computer is beast enough to do basically whatever you need to and then just hit get the upgrade hit the upgrade and then download it to wherever you normally download your files to so after you go through that you're gonna go ahead and install it well turns out that if I had actually read the uh, system requirements my system both my systems have the capability of running of running this software now if I had read right here the last one the first sentence if you are running Windows 7 without service pack 1 so basically if you've completely started from scratch and down and you know installed Windows 7 just as a whole and you're starting fresh and brand new without service pack 1 you can only download and use the Windows 10 update by using the ISO file. Pretty simple. So just down, just go over to the link to download, click to download, download it, and then you wait for it to download. And for those that are running Windows 7, uh, my suggestion would be to go to the Microsoft Store and download their Windows 7 uh, USB slash DVD download tool. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to take that ISO file that you were that you downloaded from uh, this page, and it's going to create a bootable USB disk that's going to act much like a DVD. Uh, just make sure you have at least four gigs or more of uh, storage space on the USB and make sure there's nothing on there that you obviously want because it's going to get erased. Alright guys, so after you've gone and created your bootable Windows CD on your USB, you're going to go to that device and basically just launch it like you would any normal CD. And it's going to load and basically come up and say do you really want to do this and of course I really want to do this I'm a content creator on YouTube why wouldn't I 
and I would and I just want to do this because I can I can't I really can't wait to see how this goes it's asking me if I want to install a Windows technical preview and to keep my Windows settings personal files and apps yeah I want to do all of that so we go ahead and install and here we go see that guys this right here is innovation installing Windows technical preview alright guys I will see you when it gets done so now that the technical preview has pretty much done what it needed to do it's now asking me if I want to customize it or use the express settings um, since I don't know that much about it I am pretty much just going to use the uh, express settings now it's saying I will need to set up my account please wait setting up my account it's gonna do its thing and now it's finalizing my settings hi hello we're setting things up for you well that's good to know sorry about the color guys this is not the best camera I'm, I apologize for that um, but if you can read down on the bottom it is telling me that it's installing my apps I do like how the screen is changing colors while it's uh, updating and installing all of the stuff that it needs to and I've got a one terabyte hard drive on this laptop so I've got more than enough space for whatever it's got to install. In case you guys were wondering, this is actually just like installing a normal copy of Windows. Well, there you have it. It has now been officially installed on my laptop as you can see I still was able to keep my programs and such so yeah that pretty much does it for the install and you do get your pretty much your uh, classic start menu with the ease of access for your for your apps here on the start menu which is honestly in my opinion freaking cool and quite nice well there you have it that's how to download install and get yourself running on the technical preview for Windows 10 don't forget to check back with me later on this week because I will be doing my full review of the Windows 10 technical preview but in a couple of days I will definitely definitely post my first impressions and as always, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, thumbs down it if you didn't, leave a comment down below if there's anything you would like me to do with this technical preview. Uh, I will do my utmost to take care of your needs. And as always, I will see all of you on the other side of the interwebs. Take it easy.